Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I was thinking of filming an apartment tour because I do live alone when it's not times um, and I live in Manchester and I'm in uh, an apartment that has one bedroom. It's kind of like a studio flat because it's not got like a separate room. It's like divided by a wall and it's got a bathroom and a kitchen and like a living area but I'll show you that in the rest of the video. So before I get into it I just wanted to say that basically all the furniture that's in this apartment already came with the apartment. I only bought like decor things and like any personal things that I will show you. Like I got them and I added them to the apartment so all the furniture and the appliances and all like that is all included in the actual apartment so I didn't actually buy all that stuff. And for my flat I, sorry for the work noise, I'll show you later, there's, uh, there's like five construction sites in, from, that you can see from my view which is uh, so annoying but oh well. Um, basically I decided to, okay this is getting a bit much, a train is passing. Yeah it's very noisy especially with the window open. I'm like dying of heat because I only got here yesterday back from home so it's really warm so I had to have the window open and obviously there's loads of stuff going on outside. Anyway, the um, style I was going for when I was decorating this apartment is like boho Scandinavian kind of vibes. It's all cream. You'll You'll understand that every single thing that I bought is like cream <laughs> and beige and just very neutral colours which is a bit boring but I like it. So yeah, let's start. When you walk in the door, on the left you've got the bed and that's what you can see the first thing when you go in. Hi, it's me Edith and I just want to give a really quick disclaimer that I am going to be saying then I've got like a thousand times in this video, so yeah. And straightforward, you can see the length of the flat and the big floor to ceiling windows. As you can see, the bedroom is divided off by this wall that joins at the end of the bed, and this is the bedroom area. As you can tell, there's lots of neutrals and browns. The bed which was provided um, is from Ikea and the mattress and all the bedding that I got is also from Ikea and the cushions are too. And then I've got a light switch over there which activates this light but it's really 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 like in your face, like it's very white. It's like really white. To be fair, maybe this is a better way to show you the bedroom. But this is the bedroom. I've got a macrame, macrame hanging art thing, I don't know how you call it, but it's macrame, macrame, whatever. And this is from b and I'm pretty sure it only costs six quid. And I hung it up with a command hook that, that you can't see from afar because it's transparent. Then I've got an Ikea lamp. I will link all the things that I've bought that I can actually find in the description below. So I will link this lamp that I got from Ikea which I really 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 like and I also have a vase from Ikea and a little tray that I got from Sostrine Green that I use for like rings and then I've got some pampas grass that I got from I think it's Altringham Market and then I've got my glasses and then just a Starbucks um, cup. I've got this little what's it called? Shelf unit, bedside table. That is also from Ikea, I did not buy this though. And it's got all my hair stuff in the bottom and then it's got the socks on the top. There is a mirror, also from Ikea. Everything is from Ikea. Then I've got my shoes just there. And then I've got the dirty laundry wicker basket that I bought from TK Maxx. Then the, I've put my maiden there because it's not very nice to look at so I just chucked it behind the wardrobe. So here's the wardrobe, another thing from Ikea. And put hangers in it and it's also got like folded clothes and it's also got a compartment on the bottom. 
So that's the wardrobe. I feel like for one person it's definitely enough space in that wardrobe because I've been living here now for like, I wanna say maybe six months, something like that anyway. And I've never had a problem with like storage or clothes storage anyway, because I've also got the bedside table to put my socks. So next to the wardrobe, uh, we've got some chest of drawers that are also from Ikea, and I've got loads of like uni stuff, and then I've just got like, it's just very messy, so yeah, don't look at that. And this is also for uni, but then I've got some like cards, a little cup, and just some like party bags and stuff like that. On the left hand side of the wardrobe and the chest of drawers, there is the toilet. And the toilet is really, really nice. It's really modern. There's a heated towel rack on the side. I've got a bin on the floor. On the side, I've got a little container from Dunelm, I'm pretty sure, and I put my cotton pads in there. Then I've got a little plant just to add a bit more greenery to the to the room otherwise it'll be very like boring then i've got this little basket which is for my face halos then i've got this big big wicker basket from tk maxx i think and it's got all my skincare products all my hair products and stuff like that then i've got some boots products there then i've got the sink, which is like a kind of a small size, but you don't really need that much of a big size. Then there's the toilet, and then I've got this container, which um, I got from Wilco, I'm pretty sure. And then there's a bath mat from B&M. Then this is the shower. It's a really nice colour. And I added this tension pole for all my products because <laughs> nothing was going to fit on that little thing. So I got this big thing where I can just add loads of stuff that I need, shampoos and everything and shower gels. And then it's got a little door like that. So walking out of the toilet, on the side there is a desk where I do all my uni work and I've got this mirror that I got and I don't know where it's from because I bought it all the way from Italy, so I don't know. Got this rattan like shelf that I got from the shop Flying Tiger, then I got my makeup bag, then tissues, then work, and then I've got my hard drive. This desk is really handy because it's got different compartments for my all my medicines. Then it's got another compartment for, I don't really use that. <laughs> and then just another compartment for like all random things that I don't know where to put. I've got this little, this absolutely beautiful basket here that's for all my like keys, everything I just drop it in there once I've come back. So my bag, my card holder, my keys and my mask, then my glasses are there. Then we've got a bin that I got from Asda, which is really cheap. It was literally like six quid, but it makes a big fat noise when you open it. So it's really annoying. But um, then for my favourite part of the whole room, apart from the bedroom, is my living space, which is very boho-y. Just, I love it. <laughs> I've got this picture wall that I made with some strings from Amazon, some pegs from Amazon, and some command hooks that are not clear because these ones are clear but these are not because they only had the white ones in the shop at the time so the sofa is actually an Ikea one and it's grey but I've put a blanket on top of it just so it doesn't really look grey because it does really go cool with my aesthetic anyway then I've got a blanket that's from a really 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 lovely lovely blanket that's from the range and it's like massive and it's only 20 quid so I'll link that below then I've got two cushions that are from Next that are also very, very boho-y, also very boho-y and the blanket that I put on top of the sofa is from Ikea so I'll try and link that too. Then I've got a big rug that was the cheapest thing ever. That rug was literally like 25 quid from Ikea so I'll try and link that below actually my sister wanted to get one similar and we looked for one like the other day and it there was it wasn't on the website so I don't think I'll be able to link that I'll link a similar one but I don't think it's gonna be 25 quid so but it's a really a really nice like fluffy rug so and it's a really good size for 25 quid I think it's an Ottoman or an Ottoman or I don't know how to say it and this is from Wilco where I put all my like clean sheets and my clean towels ready for like to 
when I change them. Then I've got this that I got for my birthday from my mum because she knows I love like wood things and stuff like that. So that's from TK Maxx. And then I've got this basket that's from Dunelm to put my blanket in it, but now it's on the sofa. I kind of want to change this wall because it's been like this for like a while. And I want to kind of put like one of them, what's it called? One of them art, <laughs> what do you call them? The white plaster, what do you call it? Frame, it's not a frame though, it's, I don't know. Anyway, one of them, I'll show you, I'll put the picture there here, but I want to put one of them on there and I want to also make one to make it, or to put it on there. But I'd have to like get a big one to fill out the space because it's quite a big space if you can tell. Well, anyway, this is the, this is where I like watch YouTube and everything and then I put my legs up there and it's just a good time. On the right there is my kitchen. So the kitchen is quite a small kitchen because I mean it's only one person living here so obviously you don't really need that much. So I've got my tea, sugar and coffee containers that are from Danelle. Then I've got this chopping board that is more for like visual purposes than it is to chop things. <laughs> and that's from TK Maxx. Then I've got an espresso um, coffee machine and I've got this thing to sprinkle cocoa because I love coffee and I love cocoa and then I've got a kettle that the kettle came with the place that didn't a little washing rack or drying rack then the sink obviously and then I've got a microwave that came with the place I've got all my oven things there then in here I've got all my cups and my mugs and in here I've got my plates, my oils, pans and then here I've got, it's very messy but I've got all food and pasta and I still haven't ate so I'm so hungry but yeah. <laughs> Oven under here that doesn't really work but will move. Then a fridge here which is kind of small but I don't really need that much food because I'm only one person so that's really nice. Then I've got a tea towel here, my food bin and then Loads of just washing up stuff and just cleaning stuff. On this side of the flat, which is going to be the last thing I'm going to show you, is the dining area, let's say. And there's also a telly that comes with the flat, but it doesn't really have... It's only got like normal telly on it, which no one watches anymore. But so I have this box thing that um, permits me to watch like Netflix, Guess Sports, stuff like that. Then I've got a kitchen roll holder and then I've got one of these to keep all the, the remotes in. And then this table and chairs that are also from Ikea. And then these that are really, really make the chair comfy because it doesn't look very comfy <laughs> without the, the pillows. Lovely wicker basket from TK Maxx with a plant from Ikea inside it. This is the view. It's like a nice if you zoom in like this, you can't see all the works, but yeah. And then if you go like this, you can see that, and you can see that, which yay, and that. Just literally annoying, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. And then I've got these, this diffuser, won't be able to see it because it's, oh my gosh, two trains. You won't be able to see it, but it's a candle and it's from Danelle and it smells absolutely beautiful. And there's the window that you can close. And then we've also got some blackout blinds, but they're not very good because I woke up very early this morning. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today's video. Please like this video if you liked this apartment tour and please comment and tell me what other videos you'd like to see from my channel because I'm only starting, so and please subscribe as I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So thank you so much and see you in the next one, bye.